guys, so today's tutorial is extremely easy. It is going to be a warm, summery look. So I'm going to go into detail and show you guys how to do this. So first off, I do want to mention I already filled in my brows just to save time. And now I'm going over my eyes with a primer. It's called the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Going in now to the You Sculpted palette from IT Cosmetics, we'll be picking up the shade Medium Contour, a matte light to medium brown. It is perfect for blending through the crease. So all I'm doing is just speeding up the footage here so you guys can see exactly how much of this I'm using. I'm basically just going in layers. And I'm going at an angle up towards the end of my brow and then going inward and just slowly building and building and blending until it looks as warm and colorful as I wanted it to. Going back into our face and body palette from IT Cosmetics, I am picking up the shade Deep Contour. This one is more of a chocolatey, darker matte brown. I am taking this with the same brush, going with that same kind of angled motion, but we're keeping this only in the outer corner of the eye. I'm still bringing it through the crease about like halfway, but I'm really trying to focus this on the outer edges and the like bottom half of my eye. Now going in with my Makeup Geek palette, this is the one that is in collaboration with Manny. I do have to say that I feel like I have found myself picking up this palette quite a lot lately. There's so many different beautiful colors to choose from, I'm so happy that I got that palette. But the ones in particular we're using today are the two like medium tan shades. With a flat top shader brush, I am patting this onto the lid, first the lighter color, blending that out, and then the darker tan color and blending that out as well. Now we're going to be using eyeliner. I, I decided to go with black today instead of brown. I just really like that the way that it looks with the lashes once I glue them on. But this is from Marc Jacobs. It's just a black gel liner. I'm applying this by holding my eyes slightly taut. Drawing a line a little further than halfway, but not totally towards the inner corner and trying to keep this as close to the lashes as possible. All right, so now it's time for lashes, which I somehow could not find. I was like seriously having a moment. I couldn't figure out where I put my lashes and then I realized that it was stuck on my arm. Yes, my lashes were stuck on my arm. It was so funny when I found out. I'm like, oh, that's where they are. But yeah, these are Kiss Lashes in number 03. Definitely my favorite, not only by Kiss, but also just like drugstore brands in general. And every time I wear these, these are like the number one lashes that I get compliments on and people always think that these are my real lashes, which is awesome because they're obviously not since I know what my lashes look like. They're so tiny and small, but yeah. Um, love them, they're great, and I think that they look great with this warm eyeshadow look. So moving on to the face, I'm using Prime Time. This is the original from Bare Minerals, uh, one of my favorites because it's very moisturizing, it's great for dry skin, it just smooths down everything, gets rid of pores. I'm going in with my Clinique foundation in number 7. This is the Beyond Perfecting one. It works as a foundation and concealer. I do like to go in with a little bit extra concealer afterwards, which you guys will see. But this has a uh, like a doe foot applicator here, and I just use that to help blend out my foundation onto my face first. And then I'll go in with some sort of really fluffy powdery br brush to blend everything out so that way it, it gives a nice like buffed out flawless type of look and it doesn't look cakey at all because this foundation is very full coverage. It can definitely look heavy if you do not blend it out properly and yes I did burn my bicep with my curling iron that's why there's a big weird looking circle on my bicep <laughs> all right so once we're finished blending out the foundation like I said we're gonna go in with a little bit of concealer so this is from Ofra Cosmetics it is the derma color correcting wheel this shade right here in particular is my favorite. It's sort of got like a yellowy undertone to it. It's not heavy at all. It covers exactly how I want it to cover. And I usually just get it a little bit on the sides of my nose because that's where I have some discoloration there. And then I bring it all the way through under those eyes to um, clean up the eyeshadow and whatnot. And then I make sure to get those inner corners as well to get a nice clean look going. It 
Cosmetics CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. This is in the shade Tan, and I'm using a MAC brush right here. This is the dual-sided one, and I'm just picking up that powder and setting it everywhere uh, for the foundation, setting the concealer with it, everything. Then going back into the It Cosmetics palette, I'm picking up the shade that we used as our uh, warm eyeshadow and applying this on my cheekbones, getting it into the temple as well, bringing it as far back as I possibly can, all the way up into that hairline to help warm up the skin. I'm also applying this on my forehead as well, the same shade, and this is an e.l.f. powder brush, by the way, that I'm using. And then I'm going in with a darker shade right here. This is a deep deep contour, the one that we used in the outer corner, just underneath my jawline to create a shadow going on there. This just kind of helps to slim things down a bit. This is my absolutely beloved, I freaking love it, it's awesome, What's Up Highlighter from Benefit. I just put a little line on the tip of my nose and then a line going down the bridge of my nose and I blend it out lightly with my finger. Radiant highlighter from the palette, the Cosmetics palette, with a fan brush from uh, Zoeva. I just like dab that right over top. As for the lower lash line, going in again with that warm contour color, the medium contour, bringing that through the lash line, not all the way to the inner corner, but pretty much almost there. Blending this out a little bit with my fingers there, and then going in with the darker shade, deep contour. Picking that up with the same brush. And this one, I am actually going to be focusing right there where the lashes grow. Tight line mascara from It Cosmetics, going through with my uh, natural lashes to really blend them in with the falsies. And this also helps to define the falsies a little bit more as well. Kind of gives the ends a little bit more of a darker color so you can truly see how beautiful the lashes are. And then I'm also using the same mascara to define my lower lashes as well. I use two different lip pencils. The first one is ColourPop Taurus Lip Pencil. It's a very warm brown, very similar to the medium contour shade that we've been using on the face and the eyes. I line my entire bottom lip with this and also the like outer corner area and left the middle open. And I did the same thing on the upper lip. So once you have everything lined as perfectly as you can get it, then we're gonna go in with Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Nude. So this one's more like pink, but it's still a warm pink. And what this is gonna do as you blend this in is start to turn everything into this really pretty orangey shade. I'm using this not only in the middle of my lip where we didn't have any color there, but I'm also like blending this through on the outer corners and the outer edges where I line my lips and just really making sure that this kind of turns into one lip color, but it has some nice shading to it going on on the outer corners. Using a concealer brush and a little bit of concealer to map out my lips a little bit more. But yeah, that's basically it for the lips. It does definitely take a little bit of blending to get the color exactly how you want it. But once you get it, it's so pretty and it matches with the eyes and it's awesome. All right, guys, that's it. Told you it was super easy. Let me know if you guys try this out, how it goes. I will also put the um, links in the description of everything that I used, all the products and stuff down in the box below. So make sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.